Hey friends, it's Cassie here and I'm so excited today about what I'm going to talk to you about. So I have a friend who's doing a session at the Whole Teacher Eclecticon conference that's coming up in a little over a week, 10 days. I think, or less than 10 days on the 27th. So if you haven't got your ticket yet, you do not want to miss it. There are so many awesome sessions. And my friend is doing her session on what to do when you have to support your students that come from a family that don't speak the same language that you do. So that is really difficult whenever we're thinking about distance learning and when you're communicating online and all of that. So I think thought I would share with you this awesome new thing that I learned. So here is just an open house presentation and it is that time of year when we're starting to think about back to school and probably most of us are not going to be going back to school in the traditional sense. But it's still important to take the time and have your presentation so that you can talk about the different expectations that you have for your students or the time that they spend in the class or all of the things that you need to go over and just talk about. But what if your families don't speak English? Well, here is the perfect solution. This guys, this is amazing. So let me just show it to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have my slideshow open and I'm just going to click slideshow and then I am going to click start subtitles. So what this is going to do is allow me to pick what, what language I'm speaking, which is English, and what language that I want it translated into, which I'm going to choose Spanish. And then all I do is click Next. So automatically, the, let's see, okay, here it, here it is, getting started. Okay, so automatically, whatever I say, in real time, guys, like as soon as I say it, it is getting translated and it is captioning across the screen. It's amazing. And not only that, so parents can read it right off of the presentation, but they can also download it and interact with it from their own device, whether it's an app on their phone or they can go even to a website. So I'm gonna kind of show you what that looks like. So when you start your presentation, it's automatically going to populate this slide that has the website that they can go to and a QR code that they can um, scan. So I'm going to go ahead and scan my QR code. Now I did download an app, the Microsoft Translator app. So let's skip that. Okay, so now I'm going to click the two little people listening to each other and I'm going to join a conversation. So I'm just clicking the camera and, whoa, it scanned it past. Okay, so then you can put your information. They'll put what language they want it to be translated into. And there are a lot of different languages. I think there are like 60 different languages. And then just click enter. So now they're joining the conversation. And not only is what I'm saying in English being translated into Spanish and scrolling across my actual presentation screen, but it is also appearing right here on their device. So it is an amazing way to be inclusive of everyone, all of the parents, the students, and to really make your open house or your presentation or whatever accessible by everyone who wants to watch it and who needs to hear what you have to say. So this is amazing. So you can use it. Um, let's see, let me stop that. Okay, so you can use this not just for presentations, you can use it for your students as well. So I'm going to stop this one. Stop. Okay, so my subtitles now have stopped on that. And I don't speak Spanish very well, so I can't speak to how accurate the translation is. So maybe if you speak Spanish and you were reading along, you can let me know, you know, maybe like on a scale of one to 10, how accurate it was. The more you use it, the more the artificial intelligence recognizes your speech patterns and the words that you say. Also a cool feature of it is that you can choose to let the program read your notes, like your slide notes or what's on your actual presentation. And it uses that information to really get your vocabulary down. So if you have things um, like specialized vocabulary, um, I don't know, I can't really think of any example right now, but it would, it would pick up all of those clues, like a holistic type thing, and then try to get the translation better. 
Um, okay, so you can also use it. Let's find. So here's another way that you could just use it in your classroom with your students. So here is just a regular old PowerPoint that I would use whenever I am teaching my students. Um, maybe they're coming to the carpet and we're going through a lesson together. So if you have a student in your class that's a newcomer or um, maybe isn't as strong at the language as they really need to be successful, that you can use this right here. Let me just turn it on and then watch what happens. So I'm going to start my subtitles. Again, I'll do Spanish and then it's going to start. Now you can have that student log in with a device or they can just read it straight off of the um, presentation. Okay, so then I just start teaching. So I would just teach it like I normally would and talk about all organisms have basic needs. So let's talk about what an organism is. What is a basic need? And notice that everything that I'm saying is scrolling across the bottom for your student to read. Imagine how exciting that must be for them, especially those students that are really beginners with the language. How much comfortable they must feel to be able to read it in their own language. I remember I did a study abroad in Italy and I was studying education there. So whenever I was there, the, the, the presenters mostly spoke English, but their English was so, I hate to say like weak, or maybe it was just their accent was so heavy that it was really difficult for me to understand. And so I would just be sitting there listening for, you know, hour long presentation or maybe even longer. And just remember being so exhausted by having to put so much energy into trying to understand what I was listening to. So gosh, this is such an amazing tool. So I've kind of showed it to you and now I'm gonna show you how you can get it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off so I can show you my screen. So I'm busting in real fast in case you haven't got your ticket to the Whole Teacher Eclecticon conference that's coming up. So this guide will show you everything that's included in the conference and it's broken into categories to help you know what all you want to learn. Plus there are a ton of extra perks. So maybe you're looking for distance learning and educational technology. Well, we have a session for that. We have sessions for cultural competency, social emotional learning and teaching human beings, lots of them. Maybe you're looking for content. We have ELA, math, science, STEM, social studies, Basically, whatever you're looking for, we have. We even have arts integration and sessions to help you take care of yourself as we go back to school. There are lots of amazing presenters you can learn from, and it's only 50 bucks. But it's almost like getting it for free because you get over $125 worth of free stuff when you get your ticket. So what are you waiting for? Sign up. It's a week away. Okay, guys, I'm back to show you how to actually get it for yourself. So there are a couple of things to know. First off, this does work with Microsoft PowerPoint, not Google Slides. Google Slides does have a translator type thing, but it isn't as real time as this PowerPoint one is. So um, first off, Microsoft PowerPoint. Second off, um, it doesn't work with Macs. So if you're a Mac person, you're missing out. I know a lot of people love their Macs, but I'm just, I'm just not. My daughter and I are always in a fight over which one's better. Um, in this case, it's not as good. Okay, so, and then um, I think that's it. You just have to have um, PowerPoint, and it has to be a Windows-based PowerPoint. If you don't have PowerPoint, you can get the whole Microsoft Office 365 suite for like 10 bucks a month. It comes with six subscriptions, so everyone in your family can have it. It's, it's amazing. I, I couldn't live without it as an educator and as a person that likes to create resources, ugh, I need it. Okay, anyways, so that being said, this is how you get it. So you're gonna go to microsoft.com slash, I'll give you this link so you don't have to remember it all. Remember it all, but if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there are some other awesome ways to use this. Today, I'm just showing you the lectures and presentation part, but there are some other ways like parent teacher conferences and some other things and maybe I can teach those in the upcoming weeks. I wanted to teach about the parent teacher conferences but I felt like I needed someone sitting next to me that um, spoke a different language so that I could show you exactly how it worked. Um, okay, so 
once this is kind of what we're looking for, you can click on learn more and it will teach you a little bit more about it. But ultimately you want to get this downloadable add-in for PowerPoint. So here it is, I'll, I'll link to this as well. And all you're gonna do is select the language that you're primarily going to be speaking in when you're doing your presentations, and then you click download. So it's gonna download it and save it in my downloads and it will pop up in the bottom corner where all your downloads go. And then you're just gonna click on it and um, it will and ask you a few questions and it will install it and everything. Okay, so mine's already installed so that I could show you. But now let me show you how you access it and use it. So once you open a PowerPoint, any presentation is already available and ready to go. So I'm just gonna open up a presentation and let's do um, that one that we were looking at a minute ago. Okay, so when you're ready to do your presentation and, and start your captioning, all you have to do is click slideshow. So this starts working when you're ready to present through your slideshow. And then right here, you have a button that says start subtitles. Okay, so when you click it, you're gonna get your options where you'll choose your language, your language, and this is what I was telling you earlier, customized speech recognition. It's gonna read all of the, the subject matter and the words on your slides and in your notes and, and help to make your, pre your uh, translation even better. You can choose a recording a, a, a device. Now, in a lot of the videos that I watched, they, or in the things that I read on the Microsoft site, they did say that it's important to have a pretty good microphone so that it picks up. You can click on additional settings and choose where you want your subtitles on your presentation to show. You can choose not to have that instructional slide that had the QR code on it. Um, but basically, that's it. When you click next, it's going to start your subtitles and it's gonna you know, start your presentation just like if you were pressing present on your presentation and then it automatically goes. You do have some options here. So let's say that some, you know, maybe you're teaching a lesson to your students and uh, the principal walks in and you need to have a little conversation with her. You don't want that being picked up and put on the captions for the kids to read. So you can always mute yourself. And when you mute yourself, you're no longer going to be um, transcribing what you say. You can also, if you click the three little dots, you can also unmute your audience. So by default, your audience is muted and they're not able to talk in the presentation. But if you are doing a whole group lesson or a small group lesson and you want each of your students to be interactive into, into the lesson, you can unmute them and then what they say will be translated as well. So basically, um, that's pretty much it. When you're done with your presentation, you can either stop the presentation or you can click stop subtitles and then that's it. So guys, this couldn't be easier to use. It literally is a matter of downloading that really quick program and it, it just installs it into PowerPoint automatically. You don't even have to have the app. If you, um, oh, let's see, oh, it went away because I stopped the presentation, but let me start it again just so I can be a little bit more clear. So you don't even have to have the app you can just type this into your browser. So if you're doing a presentation for an open house for parents, you don't have to send them a note ahead of time saying, please come ready with this app downloaded or anything like that. You can literally just say, type this into your browser and it's ready to go and it works just the same. So I hope this has um, you know, helped you have an idea of how you can bridge the gap between home and school, especially when it comes to English language learners. And if you have any ideas of how you would use this or any questions that you'd like me to maybe try and discover or go over another time, just let me know. Bye.